Hello everyone, welcome to NFL Live on SBC Network. Today we will be doing a special, who will win each NFL division. I'm Marcus Trevetti, this is Jake Morgenstein, and this is Carson. Well, J well Jake and Carson, we'll start off, who's going to win the AFC East? I'll go to you first, Jake. It's simple, the Buffalo Bills are going to win the AFC East. There's no, there's no... If, a difference. I mean, you there's a there definitely is a fight for the Miami, Miami Dolphins. I just think that the Miami Dolphins are going to start have a slow start to the season, and but they're going to come back, and I think they're going to be a really good team in the playoffs. But I just think that the Buffalo Bills are too good, and they're just going to take the division. Carson, I think what you said it's going to be the Bills because just be, just to be clear, who is even a contender in that division with Von Miller coming to that team and already having the number one defense? They're going to have one of the best defenses I've ever seen. Yeah, Mac Jones, he's a second-year quarterback. There's no way. Maybe the Patriots will get second like they did last year, but the Bills are going to smoke the crap out of everyone. I mean, it's a questionable call to say that the Bills are the best defense when you have the Steelers, but we'll head on to the AFC. Actually, on that note, AFC North, Steelers. Uh, I'll actually start off with my prediction. I guess this might be a hot take. I think the Baltimore Ravens are going to win the AFC North. I do not think Deshaun Watson will play this year. And I don't think the I think the Bengals will get a wild card, but the Bengals have a really hard schedule, so I got the Ravens here. Jake? Yeah, uh, I can definitely agree with the Ravens, but I will go with the Cincinnati Bengals. They're gonna repeat their their team. This is one of the hardest divisions in football, but this team is still gonna be insanely good. They're gonna be over five hundred again because of guys like Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow. The connection from LSU has been showing a lot this past season, and it will continue to show this year. I would have picked the Browns, but now that Deshaun Watson isn't playing, no, he might he not might not play. play. If he doesn't play, there's no way that they're gonna win that the division because Jacoby Brissett is playing. Jacoby Brissett, like what can he do? So I'm gonna go with the Baltimore Ravens. Yes, there's conversations that Lamar Jackson can't throw. Yeah, people say he's not a good quarterback, but here's the thing that makes the Ravens a better team because that defense is is really good in the secondary, and when they play teams that have oh, a really good wide receiver court, like the Bengals or the, what's their name again, the Browns, they're they're going to lock them down. Yeah, and also for people that said that the that Lamar Jackson can't throw, he was the league-leading passing yards leader when he won MVP. And I think now we're going to have a fan in the audience ask a question here. Alrighty. I, what's your name? My name is Asher. Um, I'm I have a question about the um, AFC uh, North. I personally think that the um, Steelers could win it with that good of a defense. Like, they're not really missing anything on the defensive side. They've got, a, like, really good receivers. Clay Chase Claypool, Deontay Johnson, people like that, and George Pickens, rookies like that. And they have a new QB, Kenny Pickett, who played great in – the practices I've watched so far. So I think, oh, and Najee Harris. So I think they really could do well this season. Yeah, well, I it think, is. well, it's Mike Tom Tomlin. He always finds a way to produce a winning record. I think Mitchell Trubisky will actually be above average in Pittsburgh. And I, I don't think Kenny will get the starting nod, but I think Trubisky will be above average. And I also think that, yes, the Steelers defense, I think they'll take it their steps to another level. Uh, I, I personally, I don't think that the Steelers will, uh, they, their, their offense, it's still a huge, huge question mark. Uh, not this year, but I think that next year uh, that the Steelers should definitely do well. And let's move on to the AFC West. I'm going to actually start this one. I'm going hands down the LA Chargers because the Chiefs losing Tyreek Hill, yeah, yeah, people they say were, that Travis he, Kelsey's the better player. He were replaced by Juju Smith-Schuster so he could dance with Patrick Mahomes' brother. I know. Okay? Juju's already making slip NFL slip and slide special edition TikTok videos. Like and he said he wasn't going to make any TikToks. And the Chargers <laughs> upgrades on defense with J.C. Jackson and Khalil Mack. That team is just going to be unstoppable. Yes, they might blow it like they like they mostly do. Like Charger last. it. Charger it, the Chokers, Los Angeles Chokers, but I think that they're going to win the division this year. Yeah, uh, I can't. I definitely agree, but I'm going to actually go with the Oakland Raiders because 
they, they picked up Devontae Adams. They got Derek Carr. Derek Carr, he's going to become a much better quarterback this season, especially in the past couple years. He's 31 John, years old. His production will probably stop, but... In the past couple years, they have been under John Gruden, which has not been the best for them. Now with this new head coach for a whole season, plus the addition of Devontae Adams, I think they could definitely take the division. Well, thank you for tuning in for the special AFC division talk show. And I'm Marcus Trevetti alongside Carson Yellow and Jake Morgenstein. See you later.